What's going on YouTube? Uh, bringing you guys another hard case build. Uh, today we have this Gale Force uh, 6x9 um, in a 12 volt build. Uh, so gonna go through the parts here. If you guys are looking to do these, they're really fun to build. Um, hopefully this video will help you guys out. Uh, so as far as the parts list, we have a Gale Force 6x9 uh, speaker, uh, 3D printed back plate, uh, built not box, built not bought boom boxes, uh, the Facebook group. Um, you guys can find all this information on there. Uh, we, you got Nicholas Walters doing all the 3D printing. He does really good work. Um, if you guys need custom stuff, he could do that as well. Uh, so we have an Apache. It's a Harbor Freight Apache 3800 case. Right here, we have a 10 amp uh, waterproof switch and a DC charge port. Uh, so basically what I did was on the original um, screw that goes in here, there's this O-ring. I took that off and I put it underneath here just to give it a little bit extra of a seal of a water seal. Pretty much this whole thing is waterproof. You can throw it in the pool um, and it's going to be fine. So as long as your seals are good, uh, you can pretty much throw this thing in the pool. There's This speaker is specifically waterproof, uh, so there's no parts um, or no way for water to get through there so let's go through the build um, so we have a gale force f169 speaker it's 100 watts rms 200 watts max power i did um, put sound deadener in the entire box uh, so it makes it sound a little bit more solid um, it does make a pretty big difference just put these on velcro for the foam and here we have the Timpano TP500 2 ohm amp, 2 ohm amp. Um, pretty much this is a proper class D car amp. Um, it's not like some of those mini ones that you find on Amazon. Uh, this is a proper class D car amp that's 12 volt, that's ran by this lithium iron phosphate uh, 20 amp hour battery. Um, <clears throat> and then we have the Bluetooth module. One of the things that I like about the the pairing of these two is that the remote wire on this that goes this is the remote wire the remote wire if this bluetooth module is not getting a signal for music it actually turns off the amp so you don't get the popping noise which is pretty cool um, so as soon as you hit play it pretty much kicks on the amp so we'll go ahead i'll go ahead and do that now so you guys can see that um, so you see how this thing is now blue. If I put it on pause, it should turn off in a second because it's not getting the signal to play. So that prevents the popping noise. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> I do need to put a low voltage disconnect. That's what this is. Uh, I fried the last one because I accidentally set it down on the aluminum. Um, and yeah, so I need to buy a new one. I'm gonna add that on there pretty soon. Uh, so pretty much what the low voltage disconnect does, um, if the voltage drops below a certain amount, you can pretty much kill your lithium iron phosphate battery. So you can set it to like cut off at 20%, which is about 12.8 volts. Um, so that way this doesn't keep drawing power and deplete the battery to the point where it's completely dead and it will not charge anymore. Uh, so. Some batteries have their own battery management systems, the BMS. Um, this one does, I just don't know if I trust it. So I wanna just put in a LVC just to be sure. Um, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and test this thing out.
Okay, so one of the things that you guys might notice if you do a 12 volt build, um, you do need your own digital sound processor. So basically these Class D car amps, uh, the way that they come, they do not do a prop proper signal processing. Um, you only have the, the LP, F and so the low pass filter, the high pass filter, and your gain, which is basically your volume level. Um, <clears throat> these two right there are not enough to make it sound good. You cannot adjust it properly if you really want it to sound great. Um, you have to add in a DSP or a digital sound processor uh, that feeds into the left and right channel. Um, they have pretty much every setting that you can possibly imagine. Um, you can dial that thing in perfectly in conjunction with the EQ on your phone. So I'm going to add that in next. I'm probably going to put it right here and move this back a little bit. Um, so this build is a little bit harder to do than let's say this build right here. So this is another one that I did. It has a Gale Force 6x9. Um, but the difference is this one runs off of a DeWalt 20 volt battery. Um, and this 1002 T amp from Amazon are very popular uh, for these builds. Um, so this has the treble, the bass, and the volume. You can just tune this a lot better. Um, these don't have as much power. This thing is super loud. This one's not, but if you're just doing your first build, I would recommend this because this runs off a DeWalt battery or you can do any type of 20 volt battery. Uh, the higher the volts, the better. Um, with that being said, I think these max these boards max out at 24 volts. So if you have anything more than that, you need to uh, have a voltage regulator to get it down there. Um, I don't have to worry about that with the Dewalt 20 volt. So it's feeding 20 volts in, and it sounds great. This one takes a little bit more work. Um, you definitely it has more power. It has, you know, it just it's louder. Um, you just have to be able to spend the time and buy the equipment to tune it correctly. Once you do, uh, once I do, I know it's going to be fantastic because I would venture to say that 40%, like 100% of this volume is like 40% of this one. It's massively different. This thing gets so loud, the 12 volt gets so loud that I cannot actually fully turn it up because it hurts my ears. Uh, that's great if you're going to do a 12 volt build for outside. Um, if you're having a party or something, this one's great. Don't get me wrong, this one's loud too. Um, this one sounds great. You could probably hear this all the way down the street still. This one you could probably hear hundreds of yards away. It's completely insane. As far as battery life goes, if I have this on half volume, um, I've actually listened to it for a few days before and the battery's still good. I would say it's at like 40 or 50%. This one, I haven't really tested it. That's a pretty big battery though. Um, I'm guessing it's going to last days if I don't have it fully cranked up. Um, and then when I do need to charge it, just do it in the 5.5 uh, millimeter port right there and then you're good to go. Um, not going to go into the detail for the wiring uh, because that's a totally different thing. Um, but basically... I have this being able to charge um, whether the switch is on or not. Um, so as soon as you turn the switch off, these two things cut power. So that's going to that connector right there. Um, if you guys want a video on the wiring, I can do that. It will just take a little bit longer. I just don't want to drag this video out that far. Um, and then I can also go over the wiring for this one too. I'm probably going to do a video on that one because this one's really fun this one's light it's loud it sounds good this is a totally different category um so if you guys have any questions i'll be happy to help you and let me know what you guys think all right later